What's up everybody, Damon here, and in today's gaming news, Square Enix has added a fan-requested feature to Final Fantasy 16. Nintendo finally explains how the heck Pokemon Sleep will work, and Sega thought it was going to kill Sony back in the 90s. How did that work out? This is your Daily Fix. Square Enix has listened to player complaints and included an option to turn off motion blur in Final Fantasy XVI's first post-launch patch. Update 1.03 adds a motion blur strength slider in the main menu, allowing players to increase or decrease the intensity of motion blur or turn it off altogether. This comes after several players found the visual effect to be nauseating. It was intended to give a sense of speed, cover up low frame rate, or make the action seem smoother. A handful of other changes are included in the patch, such as an increased range of camera sensitivity options, new controller layouts, and some bug fixes. Final Fantasy 16 launched June 22nd to very positive fan reception. In our 9 out of 10 review, we said it's certainly a departure from what fans may expect out of a Final Fantasy game, but its excellent story, characters, and world building are right up there with the best the series has to offer. Moving on, Nintendo has finally explained how its upcoming sleep tracking game, Pokemon Sleep, will actually work. The long-awaited smartphone app will let players add Pokemon to their sleep-style decks by, well, sleeping. Players must place their smartphones or Pokemon Go Plus next to their pillow overnight, and the app will track the quality and style of their sleep. Snorlax will be player's main companion in the app, but sleeping in different styles like dozing, snoozing, or slumbering will bring in additional Pokemon who sleep in the same way. Pokemon also have several different styles of sleep and therefore have multiple forms to add to the decks. Having better quality sleep, such as by sleeping for longer, will earn players points that increase Snorlax's drowsy power, letting it draw in more Pokemon. Sleeping for eight and a half hours will give Snorlax 100 points, for example, while sleeping for only four hours will get Snorlax around 50. The game will also seemingly reward players with different Pokemon depending on their type of sleep. Talking in your sleep was shown alongside a Jigglypuff in Singing Sleep. Pokemon Sleep was announced way back in May 2019 and still lacks a launch date, though it finally awoke from its slumber in February this year with new details and a summer release window. We'll share that release date with you when we have it. And finally today, a freshly uncovered Sega document from 1996 has revealed the company's unbridled confidence ahead of the Saturn's launch in the United States, saying the console was killing Sony in Japan. As reported by PC Gamer, the previously confidential document was uploaded to Sega Retro and revealed 272 pages of insider information, including manufacturing costs, sales figures, product strategies, and more. An email from Sega America's former CEO Tom Kalinske had particularly bold claims about the Sega Saturn's success. Highlighted in a tweet from Mega Drive Shock, the email was sent on March 28, 1996, two months before the Saturn infamously surprise launched in the US. Kalinsky said, It is one thing to hear or read about how well we are doing in Japan versus Sony, it's another to personally witness it. We are killing Sony. In every store, Saturn hardware is sold out and there are stacks of PlayStation. The retailers commented they can't compare the true sales rate because Saturn sells out before they can measure accurately. He closed by saying, I wish I could get all our staff, salespeople, retailers, analysts, media, etc. to see and understand what's happening in Japan. They would then understand why we will win here in the US eventually. How do we show that at E3? Sega attempted to show it at E3 by announcing the Saturn wouldn't launch in September as planned, but instead would be available immediately, which came as a surprise to fans, retailers, and developers. Of course, Sega and the Saturn would not go on to kill Sony. The PlayStation sold over 100 million copies, while the Saturn didn't even move 10 million. Sega would only release one more console, the Dreamcast, before becoming a software-only company, and Sony still leads the market today. And that is your Daily Fix for Thursday, July 6th. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out this new Johnny Cage character breakdown trailer for Mortal Kombat 1. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.